So, you finally decided to show up. Interesting. How was your mission to meet with Gara? I see. They already knew of the ambush that was going to happen to them. I knew we should have done that at night. I played it far too carelessly. And they killed most of our men. But no matter. If you cannot send lackeys to do your dirty work, you have to do it yourself. And so I will be leaving to do said duties. Do not pity me with your words. I know exactly how they are. I have fought them before. But they think I have died, passed away, a long time ago. But, thanks to a summoning jutsu and the resurrection jutsu, I return. Even more powerful than before. For years I have been training, years upon years, and now it's my turn to show what true pain is. Well, of course I'm not going to leave now, it's still daytime. I am not ignorant, nor childish like Toby. I planned my attacks. But now, I'm going to be waiting. Come, sit down. Let me explain to you what I do for justice and peace. Just like the Hidden Leaf Village, I also wanted peace between all the villages, but they were the ones who caused war. Just because they're one of the biggest villages all around the world. And just because of that, they think they're more powerful. Well, sometimes power does come in numbers, but also does not at the same time. As I said before, I've trained many years and I've defeated many people, strong people at that. But there was two who have defeated me, or even one at that matter. His name is Naruto Uchiha. Right, that's what I meant. Naruto Uzumaki. Sorry. Like I have said, it's been many years ever since I've fought with them. Oh yes, the other one was Sasuke Uchiha. That's why I remember that last name. Oh, I see. Anyway. With that information in hand, I shall get back to the point. My point I'm trying to put in front of you is sometimes war has to happen in order for there to be peace. And when there's peace, then the pain can finally go away.
Do not speak nonsense to me. You are just merely a pawn in my army. I sent you out to meet with Gara. I needed you to get information. You got some information. Not all of it. So as of right now, you have failed your mission. You've dishonored this clan's name. Therefore, you are no longer going on any missions. You're staying here as watch guard. Do I look like a man who fools around? I'm not joking. Ne well, next time you should have thought more carefully of what you have said towards Gara, because now the Sand Village is teaming up with the Hidden Leaf and are planning for an attack. Their security is almost 24 7 now nearly impossible to get inside each village but with the current jutsus that we use to resurrect me i can bring back other people who might help us Yes, that's exactly who I'm talking about. Nothing more and nothing less. I am going to defeat both of the villages. And resurrect fallen friends and enemies to fight amongst me to defeat all of them and they will know what true pain feels like what true pain it is to lose everything that they loved Uh, were you not listening? I told you. To gain peace, there must be war. And then when the war is over, then there is peace. But sometimes peace cannot be brought up. Sometimes peace can't be brung upon us for many Many years. But I plan to bring peace to all the lands. Even if I have to destroy every single village that there is. And restart them. I will bring peace. And if they refuse... We kill them. Do you understand me now? Very good. Now, what I need you to do is go to your place and be the guard that I have now assigned you to be. Unfair and uncruel punishment is what you are going to be handed if you do not get this job correctly. Otherwise, your head will be planted on a mantle. Or even worse, I have plenty of things inside of my head that I can do to you. Now, 
head to your place and be gone. I need to hurry up and finish this before a whole new war will rise. Get the summoning jutsus ready and the resurrections. We have an army to make. <laughs>